Salad greens and fish go very well together. And they grow very well together, too. We're talking about 10,000 fish. We're talking about a million pounds of food resin, three, four, five hundred yards of compost. They want to know, how did you do that here? You know, how good did you make that happen on these three acres? We're growing this kind of stuff with the largest year-round producer in the state of Wisconsin and maybe one of the largest in the Midwest, and we're a non-profit. So we're able to grow throughout the winter inside these greenhouses without heat by using the compost pile. On the one side, we've got 10,000 tilapia in there in warm water, and there's the heater that heats the water, that heats the entire greenhouse in the wintertime. And then we've got lake perch grown in cold water over here in this greenhouse. So we're taking, say, 3,000 square feet and turning it into 4,500 square feet of growing space by using vertical growing. We're able to grow these, and these fish runs. One pump operates this entire system. We lift water up, gravity takes it uh, this way on both levels, and it drops back into the system. So this is a very efficient way of growing food. This is ag of the future. Got fish on the bottom, you pump water up and let it matriculate through beds and cleanse them back into the systems down below. Alan is refining the process with technical help from Fred Bidkowski, an aquaculture specialist at the University of Wisconsin Sea Grant Institute. Uh, 3,000 pounds of market size fish. You know, the greenhouse model is, is fairly unique for aquaculture. Not many people have been doing this. So, what we do at Growing Power here. First of all, is we're farmers, and as we're producing food 365 days a year here, you can see it's freezing outside, but we still have production going on inside. We're a farmer. Number two is we're educators. We take tours like this, but also workshops that we host here and around the country and around the world. And three, we're, we're innovators. We're always looking for ways to make better, streamlining, uh, simplifying, and, and, and getting more production and getting less, less crowd. In the city, land tends to get much more expensive, so you have to get more, more uh, dollars per acre. In fact, the, the figure that we use here is we're going at about five dollars a square foot in this greenhouse. Five dollars a square foot. So if you look at how many per acre that is, it's about two hundred thousand dollars per acre. Right? Now, if you go out of there, flows across this bed. This has so much uh, filtration in it. Flows across this bed that has the. Uh, Sea gravel and the watercress, if you ever want to try some watercress, here's a good place to snap a little bit off. We use the plants to filter out the waste. Right. Plants, soil, and pebbles make natural filters. Flows across there, there's one pump you can see down there that pumps it up to these two levels, flows through this bed of watercress and underneath those tomatoes, and then back in there to the perch. Okay? Uh, it's a really ingenious system for raising tilapia, which is an African fish that can grow in high density. So the idea is that in the 55 gallon drum, you can raise one fish per gallon of water. So we're saying within a year, you'll be able to grow 50 pounds of protein in, in, in the three 55 gallon drums. One which contains fish, the other one which contains contain stones, and the third one which contains this stuff here, which is duck meat which is a food. It's a, a tilapia are vegetarian and duckweed is about 40% protein. It's an excellent food. These three barrels are all filled with water and the wa and they're connected with PVC pipe and the water circulates between them all. It's supposed to be a real healthy, efficient way of raising fish. Uh, however, if you know anything at all about aquarium, you know there's a proportion of surface area to depth that you have to pay attention to. You need to have more surface area than depth. And of course, a 55 gallon drum is exactly the wrong thing. And so Will found out that these didn't work very well. So started experimenting with different types of systems. And you'll see when we get a greenhouse for the early modular systems. And this is the latest one we built. And I would call it state of the art, except they actually get simpler as we go along. Here's what tilapia look like. There's a there's that, that one right on top there is about the size. There's a, there's a really good one there laying on the edge. We're talking about 10,000 fish. We're talking about a million pounds of food resin, three, four, five hundred yards of compost. They want to know, how did you do that here? 
you know, how good did you make that happen on these three acres? One pump operates this entire system. We lift water up, gravity takes it. So this is a very efficient way of growing food. This is ag of the future. We're producing food 365 days a year. We're able to grow throughout the winter inside these greenhouses without heat by using a compost pile. The figure that we use here is going at about $5 a square foot of this greenhouse. 2,500 square feet of growing space by using vertical growing.